me hear Lydia first. Lydia, can you hear me? Can you say yes or no? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So let's start this one. So we're going to have quizzes. Okay. So tell me if you have or whatever your answer is. Okay. So let's start. Oh, I think I pressed the wrong one. It should be the practice. This one. Okay. Okay. Tell me if you have the answer, okay? Now for this one, can you see it? Yeah, I can see it. So what do you think? Just tell me the color or the number of your answer. What do you think is the inequality for this one? Mm. Number two. Yeah, blue, yeah. Okay, so let's check if it's blue. And that's right. So it should be blue because you got their open turquoise, right? Or open numbers, open dots. And those are the points. Now, this one. How about this one? So when graphing and inequalities, shading shading looks like which one? Two shaded arrows pointing in same direction. Shading that always points away from each dot. Red. The red, and that's right. So, and that means you're connecting two dots. The shade is in between, and that's right. Where's Lydia? <laughs> what How about this one? Lydia's not here, but that's fine. She um, might come in later. Oh yeah, there's Lydia. <laughs> I think I've minimized it, and we also have Tiana. So Tiana, we're doing the quizzes, okay? So tell me your answer for this problem. So when you're um, graphing the solutions or inequality. Yellow. Yellow. So if it's or the shading that points away and never crosses. You sure yeah. about this? Okay, so let's try yellow. No other answers? Wait, hold on. Um <laughs> I just want you to check. I didn't say yes or no, or if it's right or not. So if it's or, yeah, it's what yellow. do you think? Okay, so let's try yellow. And that's right. That's correct. So they should not cross each other. Now, how about this one? So what inequality, oh, wait. What inequality is that one? The one that's on the graph. So is that one, two, three, or four? Tiana, you can... Um, you can unmute your mic if you want to answer, okay? So what do you think is the answer for this one? Take note. You have there a shaded point and an open point. So what do you think is that inequality? Four. Four? Let's check four. X is greater than two. Yeah. That's right. It should be four. And we got a power up. Okay, so let's try. Cut it. So we can use the power up later if you have, if you want like a smaller number of choices. So let's have this one. It says in here, graph three. So do you see graph three now? Yeah. So graph three is that one. So what do you think? So remember, it's shaded at negative 2 and it's open at 5. So what do you think is this one? These are the choices. One, two, three, or four. What do you think? I think three. 
three. Let's try three. So three is less than or equal to negative two. And then you have there greater than five. And that's correct. So whatever the score is for this one, this will be your bonus points for those who are attending this one. Okay. <laughs> okay, next, let's have this one. Now, how about that graph? Which yeah. one do you think that is? So is it the one? two, three, or four. That's a shaded, those are shaded points or solid dots. So what do you think? One, two, three, or four? One. Yeah. One, let's try one. So less than or equal to, and that's right. You got it right, guys. So we have six more problems to go. Okay, now how about this one? So what inequality is graphed? So you have that two and four, and then it's shaded, and it's, it's shaded in between those two numbers. So what do you think is it? Which one? Two. Two? two? Mm, let's try two. Do you agree? How about the others? Do you agree? Do you think it's two? <laughs> let's try two and that's right greater than two and then less than four and since it's shaded it should be equal okay now let's do this one the eight problem so when graphing an inequality you use an open dot when you use which symbol so open dot where's your answer is it one or two when one one that's right. It should one. be one. And that's correct. It's closed if you have the equal sign. Oh, we got another power up. But I bet you won't need them. Okay, now let's have this one. So that's your graph. And then what do you think is the inequality? So it's open at negative two. And then it's closed at three. And then the arrows are pointing at the opposite side. Which one? One, two, three, or four? So which one is this one? Two. At two? So two. it's going to the left. So less than, and let's go into the right for the other point. It should, should be greater than. This is open, so it should be less than only, and the other one's close. And that's correct. Now let's have this one. So when you graph an inequality, you used a close dot. So which one shall we use for the symbols? Close dot. So you have that equal sign. Let's check. Yep. So it's closer. The symbols are like those. Okay, now let's have this one. So we already, we also have this one in um, the lower part of our activities, right? Page numbers one and two. Now, if you have this one, how do you do this again? If you have to retain X at the middle, so what do you think shall we do with this? Plus seven. Subtract seven. Subtract so seven. Yeah. Now what's nine minus seven? Two. 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 And then zero minus seven? Negative seven. That's negative seven. That's right. So we must choose. So there, take note. This becomes negative seven. So X is greater than. So wherever that um, mouth is opening, it should be the greater number. So X is greater than negative seven. If we have the X in between, that should be intersection or when you're using and. And then X is less than two. So which one should we have? One, two, three, or four. Negative seven at the left, then two at the right. What do you think? Um... What do you think? <laughs> I 
let's have this one first. Is it and or or for this one? Will it be and or or? Or. Or. If it's in the middle, it shouldn't be or. Let's use this. And. Uh -huh, it should be and. So let's activate this power up. Okay, now you have those two. So those are your power ups. So we just use them. Now, which one is there? Three. Answer? Which one do you think? Three? Three. Okay. So let's three. check if that's three. And that's right, it should be three. So the bigger the opening should face the X still. And it's and. If the X is in between, it should be and. Okay. Now this one. Which one should be our answer? So you have here, of course you have or. What shall we do with 3x is less than 21? What shall we do? Let's do the left side first. What shall we do? What's the opposite of multiplying 3? Divide. Divide. Divide by 3. So what's 21 divided by 3? 7. 7. So it should be x less than 7. We should not um, change the symbol because we're not dividing any negative, right? So x is less than 7. So we have c and b for that. Now let's do the right side. Now what shall we do with this one? Divide by 5. Divide by 5. Now what's 55 divided by 5? 11. So which one should be your answer? Um... O uh, B B B and that's correct. It should be B. And I think that's it. So we end the game for today. So let me see. So we got all twelve correct answers. And let me stop sharing this one. Okay. Now what I want you to do is if you haven't finished. So I have. Let me take note of those people who are in here okay okay so that i can add the points now i want you to finish your a and b if you haven't yet but if you have questions just tell me okay so lydia every and tiana so i think that's it do you have any questions before i go before we say goodbye so if we do the IXL one, we don't have to do the paper one. Yes, but make sure you have, because okay. um, you got two options. So make sure you take a picture of the score, okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But if it's less than 50, it would be better if you do the um, paper one. But the online option is okay. That's still fine. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Now, no other questions. How about the others? Do you have any more questions? No. How are you doing, guys? Bored. Bored. <laughs> Tired. Well, um, it's a bit overwhelming maybe in the first week, but you're going to get used to it. Okay? So if you have any questions, just ask all of your, all of your teachers, not just me, but all of your teachers. Okay? So I think that's it. Thank you. Bye everyone. Nice to see. No, not lit not literally see you, but nice to have you here. Bye bye. <laughs>